Who Let's Uncommon Fossil here, and I'm joined by 10 types, and we're trying something new between us. We've, we've done some videos that have been uploaded on 10 types channels at times, but now we're trying a podcast, something that's a little more conversational in format. So we'll see how it goes, and hopefully it's good enough to upload. We will find out soon. So, uh, 10 types, how has your week been with Pokemon? Uh, it's been, it's been okay. I've played, uh, so I'm, I'm playing in the team challenge for, and I've been preparing a little for that, but it's a bit, uh, messy. I don't want to get too much into too many details in case our opponents are listening. Uh, I doubt that. <laughs> um, but I guess the biggest issue is I don't know if we're actually playing in it because there's all the, uh, we're not like being paired up against anyone and it's like, it, it's just a big mess. We can't, it, it, it just a mess, but I, I've been testing for that some, so that's kind of fun. And I've been, I've mostly been playing a lot of, I, I've actually been playing uh, less less games this week, but I, I, I've been playing, uh, just getting back into Pokemon some, I had kind of stopped for a little while, but I, I played some more uh, of everyone's favorite deck, Weezing. <laughs> uh, I haven't played live in a while though, but you've been playing live, right? Yeah, I'm doing live. I, I had wanted, I was excited about live, and I, then I was like, it was that long wait to get to it. Um, at this point, is it, it the next expansion is coming out soon? Although it's a, a part of one of the special expansions, but the um, the the rewards for live will get reset in a couple of days, and that's probably the most exciting thing with live at this point. I've got up to level 50 tier 50 on the rewards and the battle pass so i'm just doing the daily challenge to get a little bit there um and that's about it in live because i don't have a lot of cards yet so the biggest thing there is what are the next rewards going to be in the battle pass and then playing some more ptcgo again though because i have a lot more cards to choose from and putting together i just put together a dialga deck which i haven't gotten to play yet um trying a few different things like Arceus, Tapu, Coco, and such. So, it, it, you know, mess, messing around with stuff. And, and I really enjoy playing uh, Lunatone Soul Rock much too much, I got to say. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> a deck, certainly. But is, is there a Dialga deck with Lost Zone, or is it just with, like, the Muse and the Saucers? The Muse and the Saucers. I was just I was taking a look at the, at the, the more traditional build seems to be a little stronger. But, you know, I'll try this and probably the Lost Zone build is interesting also yeah i think the lost zone builds better you just have like with the mew build you only have four item cards to sell your energy versus the lost zone build you have you have eight and also you have other attackers so when your dagger dies you don't just lose but both are okay i, I think the meta's kind of gotten away from dagger at this point it's it's kind of fallen off because it's a bit underwhelming but it's still kind of fun deck to mess around with yeah, it, it, as we talk about Dalga, it, it reminds me, I forgot to introduce the podcast formally. We're going to call this podcast Reasonably Effective. And Dalga certainly is reasonably effective. It, it's far from being super effective. It almost was... Yeah, it was It was an there. okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Uh, I think it was maybe top five in the meta, debatably, at one point. But it was also like the new cards, so everyone was playing it. Uh, but it's, it's... Yeah, it's definitely a reasonably effective card uh and the the reason we're calling ourselves that also is because we are reasonably effective we're not the best players but we're certainly not the worst either yeah and it's also fun to talk about things that are reasonably effective because the things that are the top tier there's a lot of content about but that but but there's a lot of other things that are almost at that level that are certainly viable to play online and you'll get some a, a decent amount of success and just it, it, we want to explore that area yeah all right so we're kind of trying to figure out what to do here. So our first topic I think we want to dive into is just a consideration of the different types now and, and what's the best type. We have the eight basic types and then colorless and dragon. Um, and primarily focused, I think, on the attackers, but support Pokemon certainly will come into play. And, and I, I think from my standpoint, let's try to get to a top three if we can. We, we'll see if we agree and see if we can get to that. Um, and towards that, I think looking at it, there's four to me that we can just eliminate immediately to save time and move on. And that's grass, fire, fighting, and metal. There are a few good Pokemon in those types. I'm not denying that, but there's really not much within those four types. What, what do you uh, think about that? I don't know. I, I agree with gra grass is pretty bad. Uh, there's like, I don't know, there, there's Beedrill. 
and yep. there's I guess Durant and Elbigas. We, we mentioned those a little uh, a little while ago, but yep. that, that's about it. Fire uh, again, the best card is Radiant Charizard, which is I think mm-hmm. by far the best, and it's a very good card. Yeah, it's it's well, it's it's good. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it's good. It's it's very good, but pretty much everything else, fire is kind of bad. Uh, you you like yeah. Entei, I know. But. I like Entei, the, but obviously it's bad. And Magna Basin's a great stadium. It, it's not good. The only other Pokemon I put down besides Reincarnation was Oracorio, the Fusion Strike, and that's you, you know that, that that you're stretching it when you get there. Yeah, yeah, and then and then you said the other two. I'm not so sure about fighting you said, and metal. Fighting. Okay, so fighting. Obviously, you have the Urshifu's. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else is particularly good. Uh, there are some okay ones. Uh, you got the Hisuian Arcanine, which is the one when you have a zero card hand you know, mm-hmm. for a free attack. You just do big damage. And I think there are some others. There's Reggie Rock from from mm. the what's it the the Reggie's deck, and then yep. the, the world's winning deck, Plate Fighting. I, I I don't know. I wouldn't say it's that bad, <laughs> especially if it like helped win the world championship. And the Urshifu's are so good. There, are, I think it's. I don't know. I don't. I think it's the best type, but I don't think it's I don't think it's right. bad. Uh, and same thing with metal. I think is a bit worse. It has you got Zacian, which isn't that good. You got Dialga, which isn't that good either. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, Genesect V, other... which is oh, very yeah. good. But yeah, Genesect's very good. <laughs> but but I think is it fair to say even if you, you want to argue that fighting might be the best of those, that none of these four are going to be in the top three. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's move on because we we get I don't want, we want to spend more time I think on the better things and we will have more time. So the the decks I, which I, to me are like the five and six decks, the middle ones, and we don't need to sort them out. But I think again, they they don't fit in the top, and that will be dragon and lightning. They have um, they both have good good pieces, but and this is where we may start to disagree more. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think those aren't the top three either. I think uh, Dragon is obviously got a bunch of solid like V stars. You got yep. Hisu and Kuta V star. You got uh, Gar- what was it Giratina V star, yep. and then you also have Reggie Draco V star, which is pretty good. Mm-hmm. You have uh, Duraldon V Max, which is very good, uh, and then you have like Reggie Draco this and Reggie's, mm-hmm. which is pretty important. Uh, I think Dragon, yeah, Dragon's like an okay type, but. It it's it doesn't have as many cards. It has like probably ten percent of the cards, uh, amount of cards as all the other set uh, types. So it, it's at a big disadvantage. Yeah. It obviously isn't a t- exactly a type. It's it doesn't have its own energy. Mm-hmm. So I'd say dragon dragon's okay, especially the Reggie Draco. I think uh, V Max does a lot. V Star has a lot of options, but uh, it's not quite good enough right now. Yeah. And then how about lightning? Because certainly in terms of hitting for weakness, lightning. Maybe the best type now, but I think it really doesn't have very many, many strong Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think uh, Vikavolt's really good, right? That's doing quite well, especially yes. paired with Regilic EV Max. So I think that's good. And then I think uh, there are just a number of solid Lightning Pokemon. Uh, also, uh, you have uh, you got the Regilic Mm-hmm. from the Reggie's deck. And then you have the new Raichu, which is, mm-hmm. it does 140 for Roncolos on a stage from Lightning. And then if your opponent's used a, it only does that if they've used their V-Star power, but it's a mm-hmm. big counter Pokemon. As you said, Lightning is a counter type yeah. right now, uh, and that's its best use. So it, it's certainly not bad, and I think it's helped by its typing, which is kind of a weird thing to say when you're ranking the types. But right. I think it, yeah, it definitely doesn't quite live up, especially Flaffy hasn't, <laughs> hasn't lived up to what people are hoping it would be. Right. And if it wasn't good to hit for weakness, it would be maybe even worse now. You have Raikou V, Raichu V. You got Flying Pikachu that was in the World Championship deck. But yeah. but again, they're, which is, so it's okay, but I think there's better stuff. So yeah. then we get to what I would think. I think the 3 4, and this is where there's which one, oh. what was that? I, 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 I realized I figured out the top four. I'm so smart like that. <laughs> And we want to try to narrow down to a top three if we can. So one of these is out. And this is where it starts to get tough. And I think these two types are psychic and dark. Yeah, I think that's true. Um, oh, also, if you uh, so obviously this is a podcast I'm going to be posting on, on my YouTube channel. So I'm just like 
throwing stuff on the screen. Uh, if you're <laughs> listening, just audio audio wise, you're not missing out on anything. Um, so, but I, I'm just like throwing cards up on the screen if you want to see that. But um, yeah, so uh, I think I think Psychic's better. Dark has uh, so Dark has Crobat as mm -hmm. a good engine. And piece I gotta say, I think Dark Dark is better, but it, it's this one's tough. Yeah, uh, tell me tell me why you think Dark's better. I just I think it has a lot more good Pokemon. You, you've got what you say, Crobat V, which is like a staple for a lot of decks. Galarian Weezing is very powerful with its, with its ability, and and then that pairs with Eternatus, which you know has been around for a long time, in and out, but it's always there. You have the Zora Arc, um, the single prize with its box that opens up a lot of things. Drapion V is in a, a, just a ton of decks right now. Um, you got the Yavolta, you got both Yavaltals, right? The one that just knocks out a Pokemon, and you got the one that removes special energy. Yeah, I, I, there are a lot of, like, I feel like Dark isn't at the top of the meta. Maybe Drapion. Drapion's probably the best That's Dark the, Pokemon. You have but... that, and you have the Yavaltal in decks right now. Is, you yeah, know, what's your level? Well, it depends on the deck, right? Is it a counter deck, and then it's got the energy room, special energy removal? Or in the... Um, Lugia decks, you, you play yeah. the one that knocks out your opponent. Yeah, I feel like Drapion, Drapion's pretty universally played. Mm -hmm. It's not every deck, but it's in a solid chunk. But uh, yeah. the reason Drapion sees so much play is because it counters one of the best decks in the game, <laughs> Mew, which is Psychic. So yeah. I think um, Mew VMAX, is, it's obviously really good. It's been really, like, it's been borderline the best deck in format since it's been out, which is just crazy, and I don't yep. think there's really... Uh, anything that's been around for a particularly long time that people have said that about, mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's 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 super good. Obviously, it's helped a lot out by Genesect, but uh, it's still yep. very good. And you have the Meloetta, which is psychic. You have mm -hmm. um, then you have a, a lot of so that's like one of the best decks, if not the best deck right now, yep. and for a while. And then you have the Lost Zone stuff. A lot of that's uh, well. Sableye Psychic, Comfy Psychic. Right. And those are debatably the heart of it. Certainly Comfy is really important to it. Mm -hmm. And Sableye is pretty important to Lost Box as well. It's one of the main attackers. Some some decks it is the main attacker. And then you also have, you have Calyrex, the Shadow Rock Calyrex. Mm. And you have Dragapult VMAX. And you even have Sylveon VMAX. So I think there are a lot of really good Psychic Pokemon. The Dark Pokemon are good, but they're not that good. All right. I mean... There, there are, you know, you have Galarian Zigzagoon that's in a lot of things. The Moltreses, the two Galarian Moltreses, um, which aren't at the top right now, though. But but they're good. Uh, the thing with Psychic is, yes, you have the Mew things, but I would argue that the Genesect V is actually the most important card in that deck. Uh, yeah, but, that, that but, might be true, but that doesn't mean the Mew isn't important. Also, no. you have Mewtwo V Union, I just remember, yeah, which is also very good. Right, you have the V Union. You have Pumpkaboo that, that gets important in decks. As a support, but it plays an important role. Um, you have like the the celebrations Mew for the draw. You have Gengar that goes in the um... Suyin Zor V Star. Yeah. So. And you have you have, uh, and you have the Goodvar Curly Engine, which is not bad, and it's going to get better, but it's it's okay now. Mm -hmm. See some play. So I think to me it comes down to how how much you you prize the Mew VMAX, because Mew VMAX is one of the best Pokemon in the game now, period. But So that could put Psychic above Dark. But I think in terms of a body of Pokemon, I think Dark is better in general. When you have Crobat V, Drapion V, Weezing, Gavolto, Eternatus, Zora, is better when you get down to the, the four, five, and six Pokemon than in Psychic. Oh, and uh, the, the big Psychic one you forgot, maybe this is why I'll agree with you, it's, it's better. Rapid oh. Strike Malamar, your fa <sighs> your favorite Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. But the, yeah, there there are a lot of really good Psychic Pokemon though. I think like Calyrex is it's okay. It's not that good right now. And Dra Dragapult and Silver they've both like fallen off, but they're mm -hmm. quite good. But then like Aturnus isn't that good. Weezing isn't that good. Crobat isn't even seeing that much play. Uh, I guess it's seeing a bunch of play on like Lugia, but it's not like a crucial part. Mm -hmm. But I think honestly, I think Lost Box. Which I'd consider it's not a psychic deck exactly, but Comfy and Sableye are so good. Yeah. And then Mew, obviously, if you take out like Genesect's attack, mm -hmm. it's, it's not that good. But I mean, it's not bad. Oh, well, you have and Meloetta's attack's very good, so that which yeah. is psychic again. So. Yeah, Meloetta doesn't carry the deck, especially some builds no. don't play it at all. But I think right. it's 
I, I think Mew, and then and then Mew Two Union is also very good right now. Yeah, uh, and I, I think it's one of the best decks in the game as like a control deck. It's really nice to be able to like wall stuff, and it also can do big damage. And I think there are, I think Psychic just has, and even Rapture Strike Malamar isn't like a, isn't a horrible card. <laughs> I know it hurts um, to say that. Yeah, uh, and then there's also like Lunatone, which is also Psychic, which isn't that good, but uh, I know you like that one. Um, I think the dark ones though are. But there isn't anything that stands out for dark, so I I, I have a hard time okay. saying that it's it's three. Okay. Well, all right. You, you've convinced me. I'll put psychic is three. I think that dark deserves fourth above yeah. the other decks we mentioned types we mentioned before, though. Yeah, I'm glad I uh, convinced you with Lunatone. Exactly. That 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 was the seller. It's not view. It's 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 L L Lunatone was was the, was the clincher. Yeah. But then, so the top two are are water and colors, which I think are pretty clearly the top two. Mm -hmm. um, they both got engines, and they both got attackers. But yeah. uh, so you said there was one that was clearly number one earlier to me. To, um, what what is that? I think water is is better. Before I sat down and looked at, it, I was gonna say colorless, but I think water just got so many good things. Um, it's got obviously Palkia V Star, which is was still a very good deck and was the best deck for at a t when it first came out the Italian engine that's just tremendous and, and the best engine in the game it takes a lot of deck space which is why sometimes you don't play it but it's obviously getting the item you want you can't beat that radiant greninja is just in so many decks right now just as an engine or as an attacker also the attack's so dangerous luminian v is sees a decent amount of play in a lot of decks obviously you have a support something like manaphy uh cramorant which is from the lost zone deck you have kiram v max that's good with palkia sometimes even paired more on its own napoleon v with its shutting down of lost zone that's fallen off but may pick up again you know everybody's favorite little card pukamuku with just uh gets tossed in those control decks artillery which you know gets for you know rapid strikes kind of forgotten but it is just a tremendous card um and frost moth which which fits in places too yeah. Oh, and do you say Articuno as well, the water attacker? I did not, good. but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think water is the best type. Uh, but I'll talk about Colors. Colors yeah. probably is, if you look at the best deck, Colors probably has like better stuff <laughs> based on the top few cards because mm -hmm. it has it has Arceus V Star, which is really amazingly good. Yeah. It's been very good since it came out. People have kind of stopped playing it a bit. But it's so versatile, so strong. And then we also have the Barrel Engine, which I believe came out in the same set, Brilliant Stars. And then mm -hmm. that, that's very good. It's I'd say Italian's better than the Barrel, but the Barrel's still very good. Yeah. And then we also have um, debatably the best deck right now. Mm -hmm. I'm sure some people, it's clearly the best deck. I'd, I'd probably lean away from that. But Lugia Vista, which is just so good right now, with mm -hmm. Archeops, so two colorless Pokemon. Yeah, and then you also have Blissey Mail Tank, which is which is pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you played that, uh, and it's it, good. It, but... I know it works better than it should. I gotta say, they're they're, they're good Pokemon, and in Mail Tank can get splashed into other decks that people think it's the right play. Yeah, but I think I think the tools that Water has, Water is just so good. Mm -hmm. It has more cards as well. I'm pretty sure, but it's also like more of an actual type. And then you mentioned this before the podcast as well. But the trainers, uh, Water has. Mm -hmm. Very good trainers. Colors doesn't really have any particularly good trainers other than maybe Sharon's Care. But then you see Water coming in with both Irida and Melanie, which can be a splash into other decks. They're not just Water mm -hmm. cards, but um, they're very nice. Specifically, Irida with the Italian engine is amazing. And then Melanie, obviously, with Palkia is really good. Sometimes he's played with Arceus, Farshafu, stuff like that. But really, yeah, Water has so many options and so much like powerful stuff. And Water has Capacious Bucket. It gets overlooked, but... Getting two basic energy, that's the, it's the only type, I believe, that has that, and that can be powerful. And and I, I'll just throw in one of my favorite, my favorite deck to play now is Ice Rider, Water one also. But uh, some other colorless, though, you, you know, which, which are very good. It's got the Chinchino engine that, that works for some things. The Regigigas in the Regis deck is a very important Pokemon. Hisui, uh, the Zorark, uh, V-Star, it's obviously its own deck. Um, Wait, what? No. The, uh, the, which one? Hisuian Zorak V Star? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Colas, yeah. Yeah, that one's Colas, yeah. You got the uh, Orangaroo with it from Sword and Shield that, that fits in some things. Dunsparce, which helps out Colas. And then you got the two Snorlax, really the Gormadize and the attacking one. 
So. Yeah, and then you also have you also have block Snorlax, which is okay. The other control oh, one. Oh, yep. Um, but I'd, I'd say yeah, Colas gets outclassed. Like the 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 good Colas Pokemon are are still very good, but then the mm-hmm. like water Pokemon are great. Yeah, and they just have so much like base value as well. Uh, Arceus and Lugia can sometimes like they'll struggle to stand on their own. Sometimes Palkia won't struggle to stand on its own. It's got everything it needs, and it's super strong. So I think, yeah, I think water. Um, and Carlos. But I think it's, yeah, I yeah. think water is one, Carlos two. And you agree with that, right? I do. And part of I wanted to mention that the Carlos Pokemon, I think it shows, though, that Carlos is clearly better than Psychic. Even though Mew's tremendous, Carlos just has so much depth to it. Psychic can't compete, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, water has more depth, I'd say. But, oh, yeah, you know. no, water, yeah, is, is yeah, even more than Carlos, yeah. But I think you mentioned Capacious Bucket, which I think will actually lead us nicely into our next section uh, we're talking about uh every time we're going to try to talk about one card or deck that's reasonably effective it's not capacious bucket um it, it is gardenia's vigor right is that what it's called yes gardenia's vigor yeah let's let's not miss say it we, we were miss saying it many times in the past at least i was yeah and then i was um so the reason i brought up capacious bucket so gardenia's vigor says draw two cards if you drew any cards this way attach up to two grass energy cards from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. So that's pretty good. Uh, reminiscent of Welder and also reminiscent or uh, similar to Melanie. And so yeah. Melanie is... So Gardenia's Vigar is not that good. If you played Pokemon a bunch, you'll know it's not that good. Um, and it's struggled to really take off. Um, unlike Melanie, which is amazing right now. It's... Well, I don't know about right now, but pretty much it's been in a lot of different top decks, yeah. including, as I said, Urshfu, Arceus. Palkia, Kyurem, Ice Rider, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Melanie still raises less energy, but why is Gardenia's Vigor like not good? Uh, part of it is because you can't get the energy, and that's why I think Cap- if it had something like Capacious Bucket, it would be much better. Yeah, I mean, there's a few things where it's not it it can attach to the active, which you can with Melanie, which is a big plus too. So you've got to have switch on your turn also because you probably want to attack with that Pokemon that you just powered up. Um. And, and when we look through that, it helps, I think, looking at the types before, because grass is, I think, clearly the worst type. So that might be a big part of why Gardenia's Vigor is bad, is that grass is just really underrepresented right now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking I'm looking for, oh, I finally, I was looking for my, my grass decks, and I finally found one of the Gardenias. <laughs> but yeah, yeah and it's, it's Orbital, mm-hmm. which I, isn't that good. Yeah, uh, and I when I... Played a bunch of Welder decks before, and it's similar, but also drawing two cards, which is, you know, instead of three, it's a big, it's a big uh, difference. You know, it's a big change. Even though it's only one card, it it makes has a big impact. The odds of getting the card you want are a lot less when it's two instead of three. So, um, I think it's you know, I mean, accelerating two energy if you can pull it off though is tr- is tremendous. So there's a lot of upside, but it's just not reliable yeah it's not reliable and i think uh, as you we were talking about like the grass grass is such a weak type and not because of gardenias but because of all the grass pokemon uh the main the deck here i'm uh that i'm looking at right now is, is orbital v max which mm-hmm. doesn't necessarily need gardenias because it's only two attachments and it also isn't that good so and this is one of the better uh targets for grass i think the best target for grass right now now might be uh, Reggie Draco V Star, which isn't even the grass plugging on, right. but it, it it's it's a very clunky. But that's the deck, one of the decks given to you on PTCG Live on the the battle pass, yeah, battle, battle pass. VIP pass or whatever. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and so, I think that's the best combination. But pretty much all the grass plugging on are bad. Yeah, I mean, in terms of the um. Reggie Drago, Reggie Drago V Star, it's probably better to be powered up with Lost Zone because it takes two types of energy. So um, this is probably not the best. I have looking at a grass box deck that I put together to play with Gardenias. That's it's okay. It it, it I think if I improve the deck list, it could be reasonably effective. I'll just kind of go through the Pokemon I I tossed in uh, Mill Tank just because sometimes it, you need time to get going with it. I have one V Max in the deck which is Delmize, which is one I've liked. I, I don't think you've liked it as much, but it the VMA... I played it. <laughs> so it, it does um, 240 for three energy, which, which, is, which is solid. Um, and then 
but it's th so therefore gardenias can certainly help with that because you need to get three energy on it before i played it with uh the rillaboom that accelerates but the, which is okay again also but having a stage two to accelerate is not ideal either but then delmize also has swinging chain where it does 30 da damage per energy attached to this pokemon grass energy so yeah. if you and it's big enough it shouldn't get one shot you can kind of build things up with it um within the deck what else is i gotta i threw in a cricketune because that might you know helps a little bit and help, helps you draw for its ability so that's kind of the engine in the deck which that's not a good sign when cricketune is your engine but then Do you not have the barrel or radiant greninja no i didn't with this so you could like put in a barrel or something but um I did not. So I, I just really went leaning in with Gardenius, I got to say. So the deck actually hasn't been horrible. Then it plays Leafeon, a 2 2 Leafeon V Star, not not the V Max, which could be an option, but the, but, uh, you know, the, the V accelerates one energy. So therefore, that helps you get going. And the V Star, which you know is very good, uh, 260 HP, but it takes uh, 30, 30 less, less right, the following right, so. turns. And its V Star power is very good. It's it's a boss essentially. So once per game. So that's quite nice with it. Um, it does 180 with its attack. So but it's three energy again, which is a little more than you want. So you need Gardenia's uh, Shaman V Star. With that's only two, which is which is a plus. And that's the re revenge attacker. It's 120 plus 40 per prize card. So that to come out later in the game isn't a bad option and then i put in the pokemon that a lot of people were talking about zerud v as to go with it so i have the one with jungle rage it's 120 plus an extra 120 if the opponent's active is a v pokemon so it can do 240 on a on a v pokemon it's not bad again so it's a matter of does gardenia's work and get things powered up yeah and then there's um Another card that was, uh, what's it called? I think it's Hisuian Lilligan. Um, that's, that's pretty good. Hisuian Lilligan V-Star. This was what people were talking about, and it came out in the same set as Gardenia, so it was kind of the obvious combination. But uh, it, it unsurprisingly got outshadowed by, by uh, Palkia. But a parallel spin for Grass Grass Colorless, you do 130. You can put an energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. If you do, it does... 100 more so that's only 230 for three grass which isn't or three energy but that's not particularly mm -hmm. good now that i'm looking at it uh, so i don't know why people are getting so worked up about it but and then as an interesting beast of power once uh it's an ability that says during your turn you can search for up to five uh any combination of grass pokemon and grass energy so it does get the grass energy into your hand for gardenias yeah but it also uh gets your pokemon set up but then uh, honestly when i played i've Messed around in Gardenias. Um, I tried, I think, a Ditto Grass mm -hmm. Box, and I tried a like a Baby Ditto Grass Box, and then I've messed around with Leafeon V Star, just with mm -hmm. uh, Grass stuff. But then, honestly, I found that every time I'm playing Gardenias, it's either better to have Cherim or better to have uh, Rillaboom, and they're not easy to set up. But Gardenias just doesn't seem to work most of the time. Yeah, it's a problem. And then with grass, you do have Turfield Stadium, which searches for an evolution, which which does help the deck function a little better. Helps make up for a lack of an engine, which it tends to have. But yeah, it, it's just the grass Pokemon just aren't great. Um, hopefully, you know, hopefully there's some good grass Pokemon at some point so we, Gardenias can have a real shot. Because I know it's not going to be as good as Welder, but you know, Welder was kind of overpowered. So if it's a little worse than Welder, it's you still should be able to make some good grass decks from it. Yeah, and even if it's like worse, it's worse than Melanie. Melanie is very good now. It's not overpowered, mm -hmm. but it's it's quite good. And I think like Gardenia's just needs to come in as not almost that good. But I think the fact that grass is grass has been so bad so bad for so long, I can't think of. Well, I guess there's Leafy on Vmax and then Valet and Alone Executor. But usually every, like, three years, there's a good grass deck or something. So it's not maybe every year or two. We've, we've seen Decidueye, but, like, Decidueye right. doesn't want it. I guess you could put it into Decidueye with Inteleon. But the issue is how do you get the energy in your hand? You could use Energy Search, which isn't that good. Or you could use yeah. uh, Training Court, which also isn't that good. Yeah, that's true. Training Court's a way to get a basic energy in your hand from the discard as long as you have it. 
Um, I'm wondering with Gardenia's if once rotation hits, Intellions go away as the engine. That'll shift things up. Maybe a card that's a little more random and inconsistent might be in a better place because right now that consistency of Intellions so strong, but that that'll go away. Yeah, I don't know. Like there aren't Intellions still seeing play now, but it's not as dominant. It used to be like super dominant, but yeah. now we only see it's uh, in. We see it in Palkia sometimes, mm-hmm. and uh, I think that might be about it. So I, I don't think the loss of Italian is going to like dr- like drastically increase the, the viability of Gardenia's, especially with, I think a lot of the Pokemon you mentioned in your deck mm-hmm. are really good against Vs, which means that they're very bad against EXs, which yeah. are going to be the new thing. So that I don't have, I don't have particularly high hopes for Gardenia's, Unless they print some good grass pike run. And we, we're going to see the starters again, obviously, with the new generation. So the, what's it called? The, I don't remember what the, the stage two grass starter is. But uh, hopefully we get some good cards to that, a good EX with that. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it, but I don't have high hopes. No, I mean, right now Gardenia's, I think, is struggling to be even even reasonably effective, I think it's fair to say. Yeah, I guess if I had to give a deck, well, this one I'm looking at right now, it, it's an Orbital VMAX list, and I think Gardenia's is okay in this list. You really need to pair it with Training Core, but also Grass decks really like Turfield Stadium because it's a good card. Yeah. So it's just so awkward. Like, like I guess this, you could you could definitely stick into Decidueye, but Decidueye, there's not really any reason to play right now with Miltank around. Mm-hmm. But you could do like a Toolbox, but... Pretty much Cherim's better than Gardenia's if you're playing a single prize deck. So, and I, I find, and I, a grass Gardenia's box could be, I don't know. I was gonna say it could be good. I don't know if I could say that though. Uh, and with Gardenia's, you gotta, you have to be okay with only accelerating one energy on your turn because you, you often don't get the two. That that's one thing I'll say. So if you could find a deck where accelerating one energy per turn in a couple draw, random draw is good enough, you could play it. But yeah. You could also use Eldegoss, the one from, I think, of Following Skies that searches for two energy and puts them into your hand. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I remember. Uh, let me find this deck. But it's it's uh, Heatran, uh, Radiant Heatran. Do you know that card? Um, re- re- you played it. Uh, go ahead. Refresh me yeah. on that one. So with this attack, Raging Blast, so it's fire. Uh, fire, colorless, colorless. This deck does 70 more for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Uh, you played this in... in in Ente, right? Before right, you had I did, Chester. yeah. It wasn't the best, but yes. In Ente, but yeah. Yeah, but so in this Radiant Heatran deck, which is interesting, uh, to say the least, it's a Gardenia's deck. So you have... Um, oh, and one way you can ca- you can get the energy into your hand is Energy Retrieval. So that's what this deck uses, and as well as Eldegoss. But so you pair it with Old Cemetery, uh, which is the stadium that says you put damage counters on your Pokemon, essentially when you attach energy. So... Now, Radiant Heatran is a 70 times multiplier on the amount of energy uh, damage attached or damage on it. So you do Gardenia's to accelerate two energy from your hand mm-hmm. uh, to grass, and then you attach a fire manually from your hand. And now you've gotten around uh, six damage counters on your Radiant Heatran, and then you're one shotting anything. So uh, it's kind of <laughs> fun, uh, kind of bad, especially if you run into anything that, like, like Lost City. If you lose your heat train, you can't do anything. But it's an interesting deck. Yeah, yeah, could be something to try, but that's about it, right? Try it and probably move on. Not too long after. Yeah, it's it's not particularly good. It's it's it can one shot anything, and it can pop off out of nowhere. It, it it's a lot of pieces. It's a lot of pieces now. Yeah. So I guess. With Gar- with the Gardenia's vigor, uh, a card that came out with with there was a lot of excitement when it came out um, as you know this was going to be the new welder. Um, people before it came out started to realize it wasn't as good as welder, and then the last lack of grass Pokemon's just made it pretty irrelevant at the moment. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I think there's so there are a few new grass Pokemon. I haven't tried these, but from Silver Tempest you have his Superior V Star which is just an okay grass Pokemon. Not particularly amazing. But then there's also Chestnut V, which has its ability Needle Line. If your active Chestnut V is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Mm. Meaning that you have, if you have four Chestnuts in play, your opponent is going to take 
Uh, they're going to be taking 120 damage, and then its attack here is underwhelming. It's 130 for 3, but then you heal 30 from this Pokemon, so you can play a somewhat tanky Gardenia's deck, which could work. And you can also Gardenia's to switch up your attackers. You can do Radiant Serena to heal. I do think Radiant Serena helps Grass Pokemon a lot. There are a lot of Pokemon like Stelby VMAX, which wants to heal itself up. Mm -hmm. And then I think Radiant Serena is a nice buff to graf Grass decks, but... Uh, I wonder if Cardenia's could see play with, like, Chestnut or something like that. Maybe. Eh, you know, I, I'm not sure it's going to work that well. Um, y you mentioned Radiant Serena. I also, you, depending on what you're doing, Radiant Venusaur might be the better Radiant if you're going to be at s small hand size and you're relying on Cardenia's Vigor so it gets you in a better place to accelerate your energy. Yeah, and, and Radiant Greninja is usually pretty good in that deck as well. Yeah. Um, it, it is so. I I mean I guess you know it, it's just a fun card to try. Um, I think we're still looking for a way to play it, and I think a lot of people are. So maybe it'll work itself out. You know, at some point it's good enough. Gardenia's Vigor. I think it's got to be in something that's that that that's a strong deck at some point. Yeah, but I don't think there's anything else to say. Do you, Do you think there's anything else? No, I think we've said probably more than enough on it. Yeah, so is it time to get into our next segment? Yeah, which is we're doing the 20 questions, right? Kind of a, a quiz show for a, one of the sex sections in, in 20 questions is what we're d doing it this week. Uh, we didn't decide who's going first with this, though, so... No, uh, you're going first. You're all... Uh, guessing first? I'll guess. uh, I'll you're, guess you're first. guessing first? Okay. So yeah. I, I have a card. So what, yep. what do you want to... Uh, guess uh i'll guess first um is this card is it a pokemon yes it is okay so that's that's to be expected yeah uh is it is it a non-rule box wait is it a non-rule box yeah yes it does not okay. have a rule box just okay so there's still a lot of ways to go um I'll narrow it down by, I guess, type. Okay. Um, or no, I'll say, is it? I'll say, is it a basic? No. Okay, so it's an evolution. Let's see. So it could be. There are a lot of things. Is it a? Uh, did it come out in this past year in in twenty twenty two? No, it did not. Okay, so did it come out in? 2021 then which was um like the battle styles here no it did not oh interesting so and, and there's a standard right there was just in the, one of the questions but we agreed but on yes standard, it's got to right? be standard card yes okay so 2020 means it's rotating this year presumably um so let's see it's a non-rule box evolution what are some good ones there's obviously the italian engine which is very mm -hmm. good there's also like Frost Moth, Rillaboom. Yeah. I'll say, is it in, um, did it come out in Sword and Shield or Rebel Clash? No, it did not. Okay. Did it come out in Darkness of Blaze? No. Okay, so looks like it's, it could be. Um, how many questions is this? Is this? That was seven. seven. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, did it, uh, let's see, so probably with Voltage. Ooh, so I'm thinking it could be there's a Whimsicott, which is okay. Um, what was in Vivid Voltage? Oh, so <laughs> let's see. Uh, I guess I'll guess I'll I'll guess I'll ask. Did it come out in Vivid Voltage? Yes, it did. Okay. Um, just wanted to make sure because there are there's champions. Right, there's champions path, path and I think that was it. Uh, I mean, there are a few special things they released here and there. Yeah. So I wanted to get that down. Um. Let's see. So what what else is there? There's there's Whimsicott, which is pretty okay. Um, there is some forgetting something. I don't even remember what was in like Vivid Voltage. It's that, that's... largely forgettable. Um, obviously, there's other paths you could take to try and narrow it down. Besides, you know, like type or things like that. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll ask. This is not type. Uh, mm -hmm. Did this see play in a competitive deck, or like has it seen play in there? It's like a serious competitive deck. No. Okay. Um, but I expect you to know it. 
Yeah. You know, that's um, we're, we're, that's one of the th- ground rules, too. We're at this point, trying to pick something the other person should know. So, uh, let's see. Good vivid voltage. There's also... Huh, something something good. There's there's uh, Garbodor. I don't think it's a Garbodor. What do I like played from this set? And and we're going to we're trying I, to not look I, stuff up. I, yeah, I I will just say uh, trying to identify it by set might not be the best thing. I you you wouldn't, you'll know that that it belongs to that set. I'm pretty sure, but that might not be what triggers it in your mind. Yeah. Um. Okay, I guess we'll start looking at types. Um. See what types are. I'll go. Is it in uh, grass, fire, water, or lightning? Yes, it is. Okay, grass. How many is that? Ten. That was ten. Yes. So you're halfway. Okay. Guess I'll say is it uh, water or grass? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I guess I'll eliminate it. Uh, is it is it water? No. Okay. So grass. Yep. Uh, evolution. Not real box. Oh, what? Uh, I don't. Oh, I don't remember. Let's see. There's some good ones. I mean, it's, it's a card. Like... You, you've played the card. I'll give you that. That that's otherwise yeah. I wouldn't have picked it. Yeah. Let's see. So, it's not. Uh, I feel like we were talking earlier, and we, we made them not super hard, but not super easy. Um. Oh, let's see. Um. Oh, I don't. I don't know where to go with this. Uh. So it could be a stage one or a stage two. Oh, okay. I know what it is. It's it's speed drill. Yep, speed drill from Vivid Voltage. So you got it on, on 13. So, which has the elusive master ability. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is the last card in your hand, you may play it onto your bench if you do draw three cards. And it's free retreat. Yeah, I, I love this card. Oh, I played Gardenias with this card as well to attack with it. Because <laughs> it, it is two energy, one of which is uh, grass. It does, does 120 damage, so Gardenias to do 120 damage doesn't seem ideal. but uh, yeah. You can get off turn one, though, and you your engine is your attacker. So Yeah, I mean, that's what, right. I got this because obviously we're thinking about grass because Gardenias, and then this is a card that I started playing because of you with kind of a an, a is mad it, party right right a, a mad party uh, build that this is part of the engine because you want to be discarding the bad party cards so getting down to one card in hand wasn't unreasonable and then you could accelerate onto the bench draw some cards you could even scoop this up again and potentially play it down again so it was a and sometimes it could be more effective than the, the, the Dene GX. It's only one prizer, and you could scoop it and do it multiple times in a turn. Yeah, it's a it's a fun card. Uh, is it a good card? No, but it's it's very fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have a bit of a harder one for you, I think. Okay. Eh, I'm not sure if it's harder than that, but I I I think this sees more play than that B drill. <laughs> but um, all right, it's. Yeah, so you're ready to get into it? I Yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll ask, is it a Pokemon? Because there's a lot uh, of Pokemon compared to everything else. Uh, yeah, it's a Pokemon. Okay, as expected. Um, is it Colorless Dragon, Grass, Fire, or Water? Just try to... Can you say, can you say those types again? Colorless... Not going like... Well, the first three are, always, are, are... I'll go in order, then Grass, Fire, Water. I think that's the right order. And then colorless and dragon, I'm tossing in. Is the two that don't fit in? Uh, no. It's not any of those. No. Okay, so let me just. I'm making some notes as we go here, and and I don't fully know what the right abbreviations are at times. I gotta say, but I haven't studied yeah. that. So okay, so is it lightning, psychic, or fighting? Uh, yes. So now you have you have it. You have been narrowed down some, but obviously you're still a long ways away. <laughs> I do. I, you don't need to put the pressure on. So, is it? Um, so, is it lightning? Uh, oh yes. Okay. Well, that's good. That could have taken me another guess or two to get to that far. So I know it's lightning. Is it a rule box Pokemon? Uh, no. Okay. <sighs> Which I believe. And, and and we're doing standard, and yes. I, uh, so I think that has to then be a single prize Pokemon, I believe. Uh, yes, it, it does. Um, so let's think. Is it a basic Pokemon? 
uh, yes, it is. Okay. Hmm, I could ask if it has an evolution, but I'll, I'll uh, I'm not going to ask that yet. So, a basic non rulebacks lightning. So, yep. does it have an ability? No. Oh no, ability. Okay, abilities certainly help narrow it down too. Yes, they do. And they do make cards much more playable too. So lightning, no, no rule box. Basic. No ability. Yep. So lightning. Uh oh. So it's a lightning attacker. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, is it some other purpose in the deck? But probably for attacking. Oh, I'm not very strong at the lightning Pokemon. So, um, let's think. They're not very strong, to be honest. <laughs> no, they, they're strange. not strong, and I'm not strong. Yes. So, um, well, is it Regieleki? I'll just take a stab there. Um, what, what? There are two Regieleki's. Oh, uh, no. Now, I don't know if I know what they are. Um, you can, like, describe them. But... There's the one. I'm trying to remember what they do because I haven't played Reggie's a, a lot. Yeah. Um, the one, if I recall, hits the active and then it does a little bit of damage to the bench. Is that correct? It does yeah, like four, 30 or 40 damage to the bench. Yeah. There's one that only ban damages the bench, right? Yeah. Is it just damage one on the bench? Uh, or does it do two on the bench? Yeah, no, it does. It does one on the bench. One on the bench, like 120 or something? Yeah. Is that... And are those the two main ones in the Reggie's decks? Yeah, I think those are the only two. Or oh. there's like the V Max on V as well, but right. But that doesn't help you use your uh, Reggie Gigas. So, nope. um, so is it the Reggie Alecki that does uh, the hits in the active and does a little bit to the bench? One bench yes. Pokemon. Right. It is. <laughs> All right, good. I was glad it was the Reggie Alecki because I, I was going to have a big pro. I wasn't sure where I was going to next. I know there's a couple techs out there in the Lightning, you know, for Lightning and Dex, but I'm, I'm coming up with those is tricky. Yeah, there's, there's Zapdos, and then there's like Raikou, or there's, no, sorry, there's Zekrom, Zero Aura, yeah. and Raikou Amazing Rare. Yeah. Those are the three, but yeah, you got it. You got it in on your eighth guess. Yeah. <sighs> and, and what set is that from? Uh, it's Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies. Okay. Yeah. Which so. makes it the old? Is that the newer or the older one? Is no, because they they were in um, the Astral Radiance. Like yeah, so it's the old one. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So I guess I guess you beat me on that one. So I, I got it in a few earlier ones. Now I you know in your defense I I certainly pulled out a much more obscure Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had to like I, I guessed one route where I like got the set and then I didn't really know where to go from there, so then I had to go for type. But yeah, yeah. and in Vivid Voltage, Beedrill, I don't think was going to jump to your mind. Is oh, that was the card in Vivid Voltage. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the. I mean, it's one of the more forgettable sets. So, um, but yeah, so well played, I guess. Well played. <laughs> I should have conceded. I guess so, but you, you take the loss either way. So. Um, so I guess, so we cut, so I, that I guess brings us to the end of, of what we, of our, of our, uh, podcast here and you want to sign us off? Sure. Sure. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this or listening to this, I suppose. Um, and yeah, this is probably going to be labeled podcast episode zero of the reasonably effective. <laughs> uh, we might not have a logo. We might not have the name might change. Uh, I don't know where this is going to go in the future. I don't know if this is going to go in the future, but uh, comment uh, comment, and reach out to us in any way you can. Uh, I'm 10 Types, so 10 Types on YouTube with Uncommon Fossil, uh, who's also on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, the links will both be there. Obviously, my channel is, but you'd be, uh, you could be watching on this on either channel, but the link should be there. Uh, oh, and I just got logged out of Pokemon. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, if you're listening to this on a different platform, a podcast platform, I don't know if we're going to put it on those or if we can figure out how, but it, hopefully we are. So um, I don't know what stuff you can do. You can maybe follow it or you can like it, comment. I'm not sure, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you uh, are enjoying your day, and I think that's all. Yep, uh, take care. <laughs>